Welcome back everybody on today is the second in my five part series testing out products sent to me unsolicited to my PO box. For today's video I have this product which is actually a pillow stand which I'll be honest when I first opened it up a couple months ago at my PO box I kind of laughed at it. I thought well, what's this? Is this even really a good idea putting a phone stand on a pillow? I really wasn't sure about it. But when it came time to do my next mail time video I figured I would give this a shot. And once I did, I have to admit, it kind of won me over and outperformed other phone stands I've actually used. So for today's mail time 8.2, it is the pillow stand. Let's check out this pillow stand. In fact, that's all the box says is pillow stand. There's a brand name on here on the back here, S-A-I-J-I. -I. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce that. The packaging says it's a multi-purpose usage, angle adjustment, widely compatible, flexible material. It says take a seat, sit cross-legged, lean against, and lay face down. Now I've reviewed some uh, similar type things before, not quite like this, so I have a few items in the past I can kind of reference. Uh, it seems like a kind of a basic idea, but maybe it'll work. Let me crack it open and see how it looks. Ugh. Oh, they have a nice looking little envelope in here. That's kind of cool that you have to completely mangle to open up. All right, interesting color, interesting color. My first reaction though is that this material is very, I'm, I'm actually surprised at how nice this material feels. I expected a softness for the pillow part, but this is actually kind of high grade feeling. Maybe it isn't, but it feels like it is. I'm not quite sure what this little nodule here is for, but I guess I'll have to figure that out. It has kind of a, a leathery feel to the, this part and then a very soft uh, material down here. Uh, very interesting. So this, uh, this does extend to hold your phone, it looks like. Will it rotate? It does rotate. Rotates this way. Rotates this way. Okay, so we got some options here. The instructions show it being used in a car, bed, and couch. So that's what I'm gonna do as well. I'm just gonna double check these instructions before I get started, but it looks like it's gonna be pretty basic. This one should be interesting. So taking a look at the arm here, the bottom segment of the arm moves about 180 degrees. The upper segment looks like it moves more than 180 degrees. And there's a tab here where it looks like you'll put the bottom of the tablet so you can rest it against here to use a tablet as well. First up on the couch, lounging by the couch, right? That's where most people do it. So once again, you can slide this open to fit your phone in there. Seems like it accommodates most sizes. Let's see here. My phone is in there and it's pretty sturdy. It's holding it pretty well. I wasn't sure if, I, if a pillow on the bottom really mattered, but it is kind of comfortable actually. All right, so I've got a YouTube video playing right here. Do you wonder what video that could be? You know, I have to say that between the, the pillow being really soft and the arm being able to adjust pretty much anywhere, it's probably one of the sturdier ones that I've felt in the past. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. For the tablet, I believe you're supposed to fold this back and fold this forward and then just use this tab right here to kind of rest it like that. But you know, the tablet, it holds a tablet pretty good. All right, so it does work for a tablet in both portrait and landscape modes. Let me just compare this to a few other similar holders I've done in the past and see how those compare. I will remember the uh, pillow pad. Pillow pad's not bad, but it is a bit lower. I mean, like I, you have to kind of look down. It's, it's way down here. It won't hold your phone up high like, like the pillow stand will. It's certainly competent, but it's, it's a bit limiting as far as the vertical placement of where your phone's at. So I think the pillow stands better than this one. We all remember this one from a recent video. This one certainly works, but you have to kind of, you got to work with it for a while. It takes a little bit to get it just right. You can't really have it that far from yourself because it starts to get too heavy and starts to weigh it down like that. So I would say the pillow stand is better than this one too. Let's not forget the Simply Hold, which attaches to your leg. All right, so this one does work. Believe it or not, it actually works. But the only problem with this one is it's not real convenient. If you want to get up and go to the restroom or go grab a drink, you got to take it off. Otherwise, you'd be walking around the phone sticking off your knee. Once you get situated, it's pretty good. But if you have to get up, you're in trouble. Well, so far, I think the pillow stand might be my favorite of the bunch. But let me try a few more situations before I give my final conclusion. All right, I see how this is for lounging in bed now. Not too bad. It's very sturdy. I'm... I'm kind of impressed and surprised at how sturdy this really is. I mean, this is my phone. I'm hanging over the floor. It's still not going anywhere. It's much sturdier than I anticipated it being, and it's actually quite comfortable on your lap. Now, they say you can lay on your stomach and use it like this. I would never do that, but it certainly is an option. All right, sitting in the car, it actually works quite well. Not only does it work well for the phone, which is very sturdy, but you could probably even rest your arms here. Maybe even put some snacks here as well. I don't know if that's not really designed for that, but it could work. Better than I thought it was gonna be, even in the car. I mean, because it's very sturdy. Look at this. 
not going anywhere. A lot of times you have these in the car, they're bouncing around a lot. This is not bouncing around. It's quite solid, very good. Let's see what we got here on the uh, on the old YouTube while I'm in the car here. Hopefully I don't get car sick. Once again, even in the car, very stable. I definitely like, I'm definitely a fan of this. I, I didn't, I wasn't sure I was gonna feel about it. Actually, kind of looks silly in the photo, but the more I use it, the more I like it. The instructions show it being used like this on the floor with the pillow down and the, and the stand upward, but the Amazon page shows it being used a different way. They show the pillow being used up, the arms folded back, this folded over, resting on the floor on a pillow like this. It would actually work. Billy, come here. Let's see what Billy thinks about this. What do you think, Billy? She approves. I think Billy just wants to play. She doesn't want to look at the pillow stand. Give me that. I should also point out as far as tablets goes, they sometimes show it being bent back like that in the tablet here. I've also seen them using this configuration with the tablet that way. I guess it depends on the size of your tablet. So even though I kind of scoffed at the idea at first, I, I thought about it and it is a product that I kind of use. I've been using the pillow pad for a couple years now. I use that one in bed before I go to sleep at night when I want to prop up in bed and look at my phone. And even though I do like that one, you kind of have to tilt your head downward when you're using it. This one, you can actually position it pretty easily about any height that you want. It's also sturdy enough that when you're using it when it's on the phone, stand is not wobbling around which a lot of phone stands do this one does not do that so let's take a look at some of the pros and cons of the pillow stand so pro number one it actually looks and feels really nice and it feels really well made pro number two it's very sturdy that means the phones do not fall out of this thing it doesn't wobble even when you have it bent it doesn't move and number three i would say it's pretty versatile there's a lot of different positions you can use it in and it seems like it performs well in any position you put it in. Unfortunately, we have to look at some cons as well. And the first con is that it's just very large. It's kind of bulky. I mean, you really, it's not really something you can travel with very easily. It's just very large. Con number two, it's expensive. It's about 50 bucks. That's probably on the high end of the range so people would want to pay for something like that. Con number three, I would say, even though it can use tablets in there, it's not really as good for those. Tablets kind of rest in there, they could slide up easily. Phones, they don't move. Tablets, they slide out. It's one of those things that I thought might be unnecessary, maybe even silly, but after using it, I actually kind of like it. So throughout the week, I still have three more videos for my mail time series, so stay tuned for that. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.